What's going on guys? Coach Madden, you go pro baseball and we are here. Beautiful facility, Zone Sports Academy, Bridgewater, New Jersey. I'm here with Coach Duke Baxter and Coach Steve Nickerak, and we're gonna talk about in this video how to hit a fungo like a boss because let's be honest, some people can't do it. It's harder for other people. You see guys throwing with the front hand, throwing with the back hand, swinging all types of crazy bats and, and different objects. I wanna to touch on all of it and how we can help New coaches, dads, swing a fungo. What do you guys got? Yeah, Coach Steve's gonna show how to do it like a pro. We have two different bats here. I have a, a traditional fungo. Coach Duke's got the, the little yellow rocket there. And we use both of them on a daily basis, right? We use real fungos, we use smaller bats. It just depends on the space that you have. You know, I'll use this outdoor for practice. I'll teach, you know, ground balls and cuts and relays and fly balls with, with my team out on a field. But if we're in a small indoor area, I might use that thing instead. I think the, the biggest thing to hitting a fungo, you know, for you coaches that haven't coached before, we gotta practice, right? Just like we tell our guys to get in the cage and practice hitting, work on a tee, you know, get your batting practice in. Well, as a coach, we have to be able to hit a fungo. Whether we're using a tennis racket, we're using a short bat, or we're using a real bat, it's gonna make your, your practice that, that much more productive. Too many times we go out, you know, you, you go watch a practice, you got 11 kids standing in left field and the dad's at home plate and he's doing this and he's missing balls, he's popping them up and he can't control the bat. And that's where practice starts to get slow and it slows down. So, you know, some coaches love to toss it up with their front hand. I like to, to toss it with, with my back hand. But anytime I'm hitting ground balls, my main focus is try to hit balls with top spin. Right, too many guys will hit those backspin little screaming line drives. So I'm gonna toss the ball up, but I'm actually gonna toss it a little bit lower than I normally would. And I'm gonna work on top spinning ground balls to the infield. It's gonna look like this. So I just mentioned hitting the ball with top spin. The reason I do that, over 90% of ground balls in the game have top spin. But 99% of coaches hit backspin fungo. So we're practicing a ball or a play that doesn't really happen that often. So what I mean by top spin is when that ball leaves my bat, it's actually gonna spin like this, right? When we hit a ball as hitters, we wanna hit the ball with backspin, so we drive through that baseball, it leaves, and it has that carry and drive through the field, but we wanna actually hit topspin right here. So I'm gonna try to hit the top half of the ball. Again, I'm gonna toss it lower. I think it's, it's a little bit easier to hit ground balls, and I'm just gonna work on ground balls and fungos right to Coach Madden here at shortstop. If you're struggling, you can get down on a knee. It'll be a little bit easier from here. I'm choking up even higher. But for fly balls, what I like to do is I actually toss the ball a little bit higher. I try to hit underneath the ball and, and hit through it. Half the time we end up throwing them, but for you coaches that are outside, practice, get in a cage, try to hit the roof of the cage, You know, set up targets for yourself. If you have confidence with a fungo and you get out on the field, it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier than just showing up, you know, swinging and missing, popping balls up. Cause then the kids are standing out there waiting for their reps. Our job as coaches is, is max amount of reps in a certain amount of time, but understand how to hit a top spin ground ball and then also work on hitting that backspin fly ball or line drive. Coaches don't be discouraged either when you grab a fungo. I was terrible at fungos at first and it just took practice. So if you're a new coach and you get up there and you're struggling with hitting the fungo, don't worry, just practice. Maybe get by a net or something, take your fungo and practice, you know? So then you could have a more efficient practice. The better you get at fungos, the more efficient your practices could be, the more your players get better. So what do you got, Duke? So what we do is this. When I'm going to the field and I have some of the younger kids, it's much easier because I, you may not have coaches. You may be by yourself, right? So you can line up your kids along the line. You're taking the ball, you're tossing it up with your glove, and you're hitting ground balls or throwing it back to you. You're tossing it back up, boom. And you're going through and you're just going just like that. You can hit your fly balls, they can throw it back in. You can hit your ground balls, they can throw it back in. So you can go much faster and you utilize yourself as the guy catching the ball and the guy hitting the ball. So I choke up, I get a small bat, I get a big barrel bat, so there's a lot of room in there. And for those of you coaches that maybe don't even have a bat, you can find a tennis racket. You can use a tennis racket. It's, the face of it is so much easier. You can use a tennis racket. It's so much easier to hit pop flies. You can use them and it's super, super, super easy. So I'm just taking the ball now and look how easy it is to hit a fly ball with this or hit a ground ball with this. So I'm gonna hit a couple balls right now to, 
to, uh, to Coach Madden and watch what I do. We're going to pretend that there's six kids in a line. I'm going to toss it up. Hit. He's going to throw it right back to me. I can catch the ball and go right to the next guy. Nice and smooth. Boom. I can work it. I can give him a, a pop fly. I can work to the next guy. I'm going right to another ground ball. So you guys can really, you can work on getting your players a lot of ground balls in a really short period of time. And when you need to go mass fungos, you can get a bucket of balls, you're on your knee and you're just like this. Boom, boom, boom. And you're just rocking in all over the field. Set up targets if you want to practice. Set up targets and hit buckets. You just work on it, figure it out, and it's just a good way of just taking the fungo and making it way easier. So um, that's, you know, that's just another way to to do whether it's with the mini bat, the fungo, or the tennis racket, it all works. It all works. Get it done, whatever you can. Keeping your practice as efficient as possible. I think that's what practicing a fungo can do for you. If you want to learn more, if you're a coach and you're interested in learning more about the game, how to run a practice, some drills that you can do, you got to check out Dominate the Diamond. I'll leave a link below. These two guys came up together and made tons of great videos just explaining all the years and years of knowledge that they have running different teams and how to be as efficient as possible so you can have a lot of success on the field. I'll leave the link down below. Go check it out. We'll see you guys in the next video.